This time it is about this Nokia 5.1 Plus and Nokia 4.2. But before this, do it. Hey guys, I'm Abhil back again with another video. This time it is about two things, two devices from Nokia. One is this Nokia 5.1 Plus and the other one Nokia 4.2. In this video, we'll be talking about two things that whether you should go for this device, Nokia 5.1 Plus, which is available at present on Flipkart at just 8,000. Many, many of you have asked me whether you should go for this device or not. That's the reason that I have decided to make this video. And the next reason is this newly launched device that is uh, Nokia 4.2 whether we should go for this or we should skip this device. In this video, I'll be talking about these things. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, then a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. So the very first thing is this device, Nokia 5.1 Plus, whether you should go for this or you should, you know, go for any other device. Now, the first question that I would like to ask you is that if you are looking or whether you are looking for a stock Android device. If yes, then don't watch this video, just go and you know, get this device delivered. There is no doubt about that or this, that this is the best Android or stock Android device available at 8000 at present in India. So if your preference is stock Android, then simply you know go for this, no doubt. Now, next things, um, uh, you know, are like, uh, what about the performance, right? If your uh, topmost priority is not stock and right, now you should continue watching this video. Now, very first thing is that performance, right? Or before that, let's talk about the build quality and the design. This device comes with this, um, you know, 5.8 inch HD plus display. It is not a full HD plus display. And it's a really compact device and if you want a device which is really compact and uh, single hand use is really easy then you should go for it it's a really compact device and the screen size is not that big and yeah though it is having this uh, big notch here but there is not a pro this is not a problem and uh, because of this compact size the single hand use is really good so if you're you know your priority is that you should you know use your device single handedly then just go for it okay the build quality obviously it comes from nokia so there is no doubt that it is having a really premium build quality obviously this uh, back is actually made of uh, plastic it's not a glass uh, it's not glass so I suggest uh, use a cover otherwise it will easily you know attract uh, scratches so that can be then can be avoided through or using one good cover so you can avoid any kind of scratches okay the next thing is um, what about the performance right that is the highlight of this device because this device is having this uh, Helio P60 processor which is a really capable processor and it can handle the day-to-day -day activities without any problem you won't find any kind of lag nothing i haven't experienced anything on this device in terms of day-to-day -day use and even uh the gaming you know it's really good it can handle pubg at hd graphics without any problem okay so if you are in a, a you know someone who really likes to play game and you have a really tight budget then this one is the best option for you because this phone can handle PUBG without any problem. You have, you will not face any problem while PUBG, uh, playing, playing PUBG. So that's not a problem. So for gaming also at 8,000 at present, I think this is the best option. Yes, under 10,000, we have this uh, Redmi uh, Note 7, which is also available, but at present it is, uh, it will cost you around 10,000 okay so at 8000 this is the best one that you can go for even for gaming okay now next thing is you know as it is having this stock android ui so you know the performance is really smooth as i told you helio p60 processor plus stock android so the daily performance day-to-day -day activities are lag free you know almost i can say there is no lag there won't be any problem while using this device as your daily driver no problem okay so in that case 
go for it, this one. Next thing is, as I told you, gaming not a problem. Next thing is the camera. Honestly, in terms of game, camera, I won't say that it's a really great device in terms of camera, but yes, at this price, at Fresen, 8,000, good, good device in terms of camera also. But the con is that you cannot install Gcam on this one. So that is one con that I have found on this Nokia 5.1 Plus. Otherwise, in terms of camera, it can produce really good photos. Uh, yes, the low light camera is not that good. Obviously, at 8000, I don't think there is any other device that can provide you better than this. Okay, as I told you, yes, this Redmi Note 7 is there. It supports um, Gcam, but you have to pay 8000 for this. So that's the difference. 2000 difference is there. So camera average no problem but if your budget budget is really tight and you want a, a phone that can perform uh, decently in terms of camera then you should go for it next thing is battery whether the battery performance is good or not yes it is really good on this device you can easily get more than uh, more than six hours of screen on time okay and you can it can easily last uh, throughout the day uh, one single charge no problem Okay, and the con which is, is uh, this phone is having, this is the display, right? It is a simple HD plus display, not a full HD display. And that con actually helps you to save battery because it is not having full HD plus display. And that is the reason that it consumes less uh, battery, uh, though it is having only 3060 mAh battery, but it can give you really good backup compared to Nokia 611 Plus which is having the same kind of uh, battery capacity but because of the HD Plus uh, full HD Plus resolution the display it consumes you know uh, it, it, it drains the battery quickly compared to this one so in terms of battery backup no problem it should go for it okay so uh, the cons are like uh, I've told you all the good things about this device right and if you're preference is stock Android then stop watching this video and just go and order this one at 8000 the best device that you're getting at present in India now the cons are like you know the display obviously the display is not that vibrant not that bright I can show you that here you go this is the maximum okay so this place is not that good but you can compromise because of the performance of this device okay the next con is actually it is not supporting gcam that is one con next one uh it is not having any dedicated uh, face unlock so these are the things that uh, are missing on this device but these are not that important in terms of day-to-day -day, you know, operations that we do on the devices so if you are looking for a stock android device no problem just go for it even if you are looking a uh, daily driver for your daily use and you want a device without lag you know good battery get backup good looking device and a single hand use then you just go for this one there is no problem at all you must go for it now what about the next device that is the Nokia 4.2 okay so i believe that uh, i've given you enough idea about this device and you can watch all the detailed videos the link is available here so you can watch all the videos related to nokia 5.1 plus the links are there so you can watch and decide but honestly guys this one is a really good deal it's a terrific purchase i believe at 8000 really go for it now what about the next device that is the nokia 4.2 Actually, when it was launched, uh, I was really uh, exciting and uh, ex excited actually uh, because um, uh, you know it's it's uh, I think it's almost uh, six to seven months that uh, Nokia actually hasn't uh, launched any new device except Nokia POVO that is the Nokia 9, no budget uh, centric phone. And I was thinking like that, let's uh, buy that and review that, and that's the reason that I have had. Uh, uh, you know um, posted it on my community tab and many of you have actually shown interest uh, in it but um, after looking at the device actually I pre-ordered it um, actually pre-ordered it means uh, at my nearest uh, store I went there and I checked the device and even I had placed the order I paid around 5,000 uh, no no 500 rupees and then when I uh, visited next time 
and I checked the device, I was really disappointed and decided not to go for that. I, I got my refund, luckily. And the reasons are, uh, I'll tell you why I'm telling you that uh, we should skip this device. The first reason is that uh, no matter which device you're going for, whether it is from Nokia or any other brand, the very first thing is that day-to-day -day operations, that should be smooth, lag-free. Okay, forget about the camera. Obviously, if you are paying just uh, 10,000 or 8,000, uh, you cannot expect a really good camera phone, right? Or a good gaming phone, right? So I'm not expecting that from that device, but the day-to-day -day operation should be uh, lag free, but you cannot expect that too from this device because this phone is having just uh, this uh, Snapdragon 400 series chipset that is 439. And I believe that this chipset is really, really, I would say, weak, I believe. Because when I started, you know, you know, just checking the device like this, I found that the operation is not that smooth. The transitions, you know, not good at all. Okay, I'm not saying that you cannot use that device, but you can use that device, but there would be lag. Okay, and forget about gaming because I don't think it can support full HD uh, graphics while playing PUBG. I don't think so. It can be possible on that device. Plus the cameras. Cameras are also, there is no improvement because now you're getting this one at uh, 8000. Then why will you pay 10,000 for that device when you have better processor on this device? when you have better you know cameras on this device why we will pay ten thousand for that do let me know in the comment section three things are there new the first thing is that there is one dedicated uh, google assistant button then you have the tiny notch okay and uh, another thing is that uh, face unlock is there but i don't think that that is also that uh, optimized that you can say that it's really fast and uh, secure you know so these are the things which are new so i don't think that is enough to convince me to go for that device and that's why i decided not to go for that device so sorry for that guys uh if you were expecting that uh, you know i would be reviewing that device yeah if i get an opportunity to get that device then i will actually post uh, some videos on that but i won't suggest anyone to purchase that device because now we have this one so really terrific purchase at 8000 and i don't know what's going on um, at nokia and when they are selling this nokia 5.1 plus at 8000 and they want us to buy that um, 4.2 at uh, around almost 10500 or uh, almost around 11,000 when we can get this one uh, Redmi Note 7 at just 10,000. It is better than that. It is having this 660 processor It supports Gcam and now you cannot say that um, You know Redmi offers cheap uh, build quality Redmi has improved a lot There is no doubt about that even I'm a Nokia fan, but I I must agree that uh, I accept that uh, Redmi has improved a lot in terms of build quality right it's no it's not uh, you know what used to be in the past that uh, it was like nokia stands for quality yes yes it is still but the other brands are also doing good nowadays so nokia i don't know what are they thinking that why we should go for this nokia 4.2 so do let me know your opinion in the comment section but i would suggest just skip this nokia 4.2 and just go for this nokia 5.1 plus okay so that's all in this video i believe that in this video you have got enough idea about this nokia 5.1 plus and please watch all the videos if you're uh you know thinking of buying this device and you don't have uh, you know you just have one day left to get this at just uh, 8000 so go for it there is no doubt about it and if you want to know more about the gaming camera and um, speed comparison then links are there so please watch the videos and decide just go for it no problem but 4.2 we can skip this one and i hope that nokia would soon launch the 6.1 plus successor and um, they will come with really good um, innovations like 
SUs like uh, OnePlus they are doing. So we also expect that Nokia is going to do something really good. So that's all in this video. I believe that this will help you guys. And if it does, then do hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends and help me to build our channel. So till the next video, cheers.